Whew. It's been a little bit since I've even done a podcast. I've since since moving and stuff. I haven't really had anything. But this is this is a good one to come back with. Uh we're recording and welcome back to the podcast. Today we have a second time very special guest, Iffy, the voice of Astra and Valorant. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing pretty well. I've like I like I was saying before, I've done a lot of uh moving lately and uh i'm very tired but i'm I'm happy to be here sitting down and doing what i love to do and which is is talk to people like you oh gee i'm super tired too just working a, a lot yeah lately but like it's similar to you it's a good tired so like, yeah like oh <laughs> what do, what have you been doing no i've been doing a lot of my first love which is theater or my like yeah, what I've always wanted to be doing full time. Um, when we last spoke, I had just finished working with a company where I'd been stage managing and choreographing for a few years, a lot of years, <laughs> many years. And now um, when I got back to Australia, I started getting back into the industry here. So I'm currently in the cast of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child oh. um, in Melbourne. Yes, I'm a swing, so I get to cover three really cool roles. Um, which means work is is busy, it's unpredictable, you never know who you're going to play <laughs> until the day of. So it's good. It's good fun. How, how often are shows and stuff for you? We're on every night. So we do six, uh, sorry, eight shows a week. So during the week we do um, one show each night and on weekends we have double shows, so a matinee and an evening. Wow. Is that yeah. is it tiring to to do that much? <laughs> I I knew the answer to it. I knew it when I asked it, but yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's a huge show. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child used to be a two part show, so you'd see one part and then you'd come back the next day or that night for the second part. It's now one show, and so you're kind of putting all the magic, all the emotions, all the story into one three and a half hour session um it's a lot of work Mm -hmm. um it's so great for the audiences though they absolutely love it um but by the end of a a night you're you're pretty wasted (laughs) yeah i i would i bet that's it seems like a lot i do want to say very quickly i love your your hair is different than last time i love your hair and you look great thank you you look great thank you so much (laughs) yeah um gotta switch it up you know yeah (laughs) Yeah. Uh, so since the last time we spoke, like we said, a lot has changed. A lot has probably changed for you, but a lot has changed for me as well. Um, when it comes to like your haircut. Yes, my hair. Um, <laughs> I w- since we've done this, I've now done a lot more voice actors of Valorant. I and- saw you done eleven. 11- 11 actors, is that right? Yeah, I think the last video I posted, I posted it on Instagram because Instagram I haven't been very up to date with, but I think it's 12 now. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm quite the the Valorant voice actor podcaster here. Uh, I agree with that. I, I'm not sure what, I think you, you were in between like, I think you were like five or four or five or something like that, where now it's like, it's it's so crazy what has changed in like every every voice actor had to take ch- a chance in being able to trust me enough for an hour to ask good questions and stuff like that. So I want to personally say thank you for taking that chance with me cuz it it's Aww. it's meant the world to me because this is everything that I've ever wanted to do and now that I get to to have these cool conversations and like everyone in my life, like my mom just went back to her hometown for a family reunion and she always brags about me. Like that's all she does is like Owen with this TikTok and this is his TikTok and he does this. He talks to these cool people. So it's really cool to have you be a part of that. And like, there's so many other people who are part of that, but I, I just wanted to say thank you. Oh no! Oh, now you've got me all in my feels, which isn't <laughs> hard to do. But 
you've done it successfully as usual. <laughs> no, I think, I mean, I can only speak for myself, but I think you're a really great person. I think I said this the last time as well. Um, and um, it doesn't feel difficult to trust you to, to interview us, I feel. Um, you know, you feel like just someone that I've known for ages, like an old friend, and you just, yeah. And you do ask great questions, um, and I'm sure that's why your audience and your followers are like, more, 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 because <laughs> um, you really are focused with what you're doing and good at it. You're patient. Mm -hmm. I'm always like, yeah, I'm not available. I'm not I'm busy. Oh, oh, but like, I yeah. Yeah, that was interesting because usually, I don't know, I was I really wanted to re-engage with you because it had almost been a year and I was like, I miss I miss her so much. Like we had such a great time last time and uh, you, you were like July. I think this was at like the beginning of June or like the whatever. And I was like, I, I went straight to my calendar. I put July and I was like Astro right there, iffy. And then. I was I, every day. I was just like, should I do it? Should I? Do, are we getting closer? Are we getting closer? But I, I was happy to wait for this one. I was very happy. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you did. Yeah, um, it was a hectic rehearsal period. Getting like shifting life, you know, moving from Ghana back to Australia, and mm -hmm. like just the pace is different. The way you interact with people is different. I hadn't been in such a huge commercial show, commercial show here in Australia. And so it was just like, I needed to adjust before I could sit down and be like, yeah, let's have a good conversation. No, so I'm per really glad that. Perfectly um, okay. Anyway. Yeah, it was yeah good. we got it done. We're getting it done, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, set, like, like I said, when we were first starting, that when we first did this, since it's almost been a year, uh, it was right before my birthday, and so I was 18 then, and now I'm about to turn 20. And so, like, I it's obviously, like, just a year, but it's still, like, almost three different ages that I've been through yeah. since we've done this. Um, yeah. And I, I just – walk us through anything that – have you just been doing – theater for the past year or what what else is new for you I, I would love to hear okay um so it's just so interesting you're asking this today because like I told you earlier last night I was um about to go to bed and I was like oh I'm gonna pray a bit before I sleep had a look at some stuff on my phone and I was like oh my goodness I think I, I think a reminder was sent and I was like oh my gosh I literally left Ghana a year ago. Like I was literally on the plane right now, heading to, to Istanbul <laughs> to mm. do a, a little quar a quarantine before I went to Australia for another quarantine. And I was just like taking stock of the last year and how different I am and how different my life looks. And so what when I got back to Australia, I was like pretty messed up um, in terms of like life, and where I was, and I, I was quite destabilized. And and really, one of the few things that kept me stable was Astra. And and you guys, I feel I've spoken to you and a few other. Um, there was a mental health podcaster who reached out, and so that was what was keeping me a little grounded. But other than that, in terms of my career, I was really like I have no idea who I am. And it was an important um, place to be at because it forced me to make a decision um, to try. Um, you know, initially I was like, I'm giving up. I was like, you know what, God, if if you don't want to be me to be an actress, if all these dreams I've had for years and years are not meant to be, I'm done. I'm ready to stop. I'm ready to leave the industry. If I have to go study law or journalism or psychology like my parents wanted me to, I'm ready to do that. Mm -hmm. And literally the next day <laughs> I got a call um, to work on a theater production and I was like oh okay <laughs> so he was just waiting for me to be like all right whatever it's gonna be it's gonna be mm -hmm. so yeah um I did pick up some work um for a call center for one of our supermarkets here because I was like <laughs> I was like custom service I can do that and it requires zero emotional work <laughs> and just nothing so I went into that for a couple of months and was like absolutely miserable but whilst I did that I was doing what I call planting seeds. And I've been telling so many friends of mine, I feel like I'm I'm a farmer right now. I'm just like 
you know, some people would call it goal setting or whatever. I'm seeing planting. So I am like, you know, getting back into art and craft. I started reaching out to friends of mine with great agents and was like, I need a new acting agent because I really want to get to work. Um, so I reached out to them. I reached out to all sorts of friends and acquaintances that I'd worked with before I left Australia. And what happened was like, yeah, things started to grow. So um, in the, the three months I was working in customer service, it was kind of an incubation period, um, which led to um, a community engagement position for a theater production called Seven Methods of Killing Kylie Jenner, um, which is a play written by black British writer called Jasmine Lee Sullivan. Yes, Jasmine Lee, yeah. She's amazing. Her writing is phenomenal. And when I read the play, it was almost like everything I'd studied in my master's in 2017 in a play, in an hour and a half. And I was like, who is this genius? Um, so yeah, a friend of mine called me and was like, would you, are you interested in getting back into theatre? And I was like, is the Pope Catholic? Of course. <laughs> what? Of course. Um, and so she was like, well, we've got this position and we really want you to, to do it. And I was like, <sighs> so yeah, I stepped into that role. Um, and my job was to really reach out to um, the black African diasporan and um, yeah, black and African diasporan, sorry, it took me a second to think about that, communities um, to find an organic way of, of letting them come into the theatre to see this show. Because it was really about issues around blackness and identity mm -hmm. and race. And um, there's no point in putting on the play if the audience it's, it was intended for uh, is not in the theatre. Mm -hmm. So um, I was really, really honoured to be pulled onto that project and I did my best on that. And then they asked me to step in as a cover for the lead role. It's a two, two character play. Um, and that was, I was screaming when they asked me to do that because that character is fantastic. Cleo, if anyone's interested in theater, go check out that play um, and reviews about it. If you can see it wherever you are in the world, do. It's phenomenal. Um, and then I went on tour with them um, to continue the community engagement. And then I got the call for Harry Potter. So I was auditioning for things throughout all of that. Mm -hmm. And one of them was Harry Potter. Um, so yeah, I literally moved straight from one state um, where we were touring, finished covering there, had three days back at home and was straight into Melbourne for Harry Potter. Um, so in terms of work, that's what I've been doing. Um, also been working on rebranding my clothing business, which I mentioned to you, Kezia Jemima. So we're going through a whole overhaul, new collection, new logos, the whole thing is changing, which is very exciting. And exciting. I'm getting back into arts and crafts. So I, I embroider, so I'm getting back into that. Um, hoping to do some Astra stuff soon mm. with some embroidery. So yeah, that's my long-winded answer. <laughs> mm, I love it. I love it. I, it's interesting to hear you say about not necessarily giving up, but you probably were thinking about it a lot on what you should do or should be doing in your life. And even even I, over the past year, I, I had so many moments like that where it's just like, is this working? Is this like, did everything fall apart? Can I still do this? Can I maintain this lifestyle? Um, but it's just, it's something that I feel like is very natural for you to question what you should be doing, if this is the right lane for you, if this is really what you want. But ultimately, did you end up finding your passion again and like really going strong at it again? Yeah, and I think that that call from my friend, um, you know, I'm, I'm big on my faith and I know that that's what it was. Um, it was literally a moment of of me just saying, you know, God, I've, I I have actually given up. I really am like far too um, broken now, just because of where I was mentally. Um, and I think that's what happens. You know, people call it burnout or 
being overworked. I had just given way too much um, to my my work in my previous job, and I'd lost myself in that process. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, growing up, you hear about midlife crisis and all of that. And I think that was probably mine, my moment of when you've just, it's that whole concept of, you know, when you've poured out a water from a bottle or a drink or something, there's nothing left in it. So it's got nothing more to give and it has to be refilled before it can give again. And I, I had just overdone. <laughs> I was completely empty. Um, and so I absolutely have found um a version of myself again and what I think is or what I've come to accept personally is that one we're constantly changing and depending on the choices we make again in what who or what we're giving energy and and creativity and thoughts and whatever to um that can change us for the good or for the worse mm-hmm. and either way it's going to be okay if you stay focused on what you believe in um, and ask for help. Um, Or also in my case, have that downtime where you've got very few people around you. I think a lot of us feel like the more friends or the more acquaintances or the bigger the the circle or the more followers you have, the more cushioned you are. But I think there's a a point where you have to face that um, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to work with yourself and be okay and learn how to enjoy your own company for a minute Mm -hmm. and question yourself really hard about things you've done, decisions you've made. Um, And then through that process, you can find and start being honest with yourself. And that's, I think that's where you find the passion again. I had to be honest with myself. You know what, that thing that I stopped doing, like um, those hobbies I stopped doing, like the embroidery or, um, reading or writing again or coloring in those were things I really loved that I stopped doing at a point for whatever reason mm-hmm. and to be honest with myself I love that and I'm gonna go out and invest into those hobbies and do something with them and I found that using my hands again and putting color on plain things just really made me happy and yeah. I was like oh yeah um so really facing yourself and flushing out all the things that you think you have to do and going, this is what I believe I have to do. It helped immensely. And I think that's why I can, if it's come to the point where I now can find joy in what I'm doing because I know I chose to do it. And I know I can choose to say, I'm not going to do that anymore. Or no, I don't want to go there. So yeah, I definitely have found um, my passion again. And now I have a bit more wisdom and experience behind me to make sure that I don't burn it out again. Yeah, I feel like I, I love the analogy you used with the the water bottle and dumping it out and not having anything left to give. I think there is a point for me, at least, where I would empty the water bottle and then let it fill up. And then as soon as I saw that there was any left to dump out, I would do it right away. And so like, I would never get charged up. I would never let myself take a moment because every moment that I would I would say like I I'm gonna take tomorrow for for just me I'm not gonna think about content or anything I'm not gonna think about an idea or something I would always at some point just empty the water bottle as soon as I knew that I was just Oh, like I'm relaxing and then boom, it's just all gone again because I would not let myself. And for for me, it got to a point where I had people telling me, you need to stop, like you need to chill out for a second. And I remember just laying down and getting a call being like, you need to stop like working like that because it's not healthy. And... Mm-hmm. I it took me a moment to be like like are they right like I don't know but ultimately they were because it it was it's detrimental to your mental for to just constantly be emptying that water bottle yeah and I think um to add on to that it's also about what you choose to fill it up with Mm. so like if you just take our bodies 
you know, we're what? What what percentage water? Is it 85 or 75 percent water? Yeah, something like and that. And so, yeah, so like you need water to stay healthy, like mm-hmm. you know, because you'll that's literally what it is. And so, <laughs> I find that um, you'll 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 hear it, you'll see it. Like if a person is drinking sodas or just milkshakes or anything that's not water. It'll fill you up. It'll quench your thirst to a degree, but you're not actually healthy. Mm-hmm. And I feel like our mental, emotional water bottle is the same. Like, um, and in so in your case, you had great people who were able to say like stop. And so those are people that if you're feeling down or whatever, they can fill you up with the like the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and so being conscious of that, but also being conscious to take that in was important for you. Yeah. And um, I think that's part of that that bottle filling process. For me, it was like, okay, opinions. Like, who am I listening to? Who am I letting speak over or into my bottle of life? Mm-hmm. And having to, like, pour all of that nonsense out because there was an excess of that and, like, only consciously fill it with. And, and that doesn't mean um, yes men. Yeah. Like that yeah. doesn't mean, yeah, being with uh, like only like minded people or people who will tell you what you want to hear. Cause not everyone likes drinking water. <laughs> yeah. Most people actually hate it. They yeah. want something sweeter. And so um, that's something that I think has helped too is filling up with the right voices or the voices that are necessary to help me grow yeah. and flourish. I, I 100% agree. Uh, through, through the past year, what has changed when it comes to Astra? Like, has it grown and what, what are you more, are you learning more? Are you, are you keeping tabs on, on anything coming or going on? Yeah. I mean, remember I was saying that, um, Astra was one of the the things that kept me grounded for a while there. Um, and it was really all the all the Astra lovers that were just constantly DMing me <laughs> like questions and and sometimes I just was I can't answer all of this so I just you know um, but I what I what I did learn was Astra was severely nerfed mm-hmm. um, and you know I saw all sorts of opinion articles and videos on that and I was like look you know. <laughs> being empty i am not astra so i was like this is this is race based this is <laughs> it's because she was a she was this powerful black woman and, and just, i was like brimstone and <laughs> um I, I was and i was like should i write about this, this is like, should I, i'm putting on my you know art of politics cap like should i write it piece and i was like you know what chill like, you know, it'll work out. And so having so many people reach out and be like, they nerfed Astro. I was like, you know what? I really care about Valorant fans <laughs> and Astro mains. I actually really do. And so I try to, what I'm trying to do as part of my, um, you know, progression um, is work on ways to make Astro a bit more accessible to fans. So I have finally opened up a little tiktok account i've signed up for tiktok oh what (laughs) i don't have any content on it as we speak but i have got some great plans for that well this i'm gonna try and this is like a press run like when when people do (laughs) movies and then they go on podcasts it's like if you opens up a tiktok account and she comes back on so i can tag her in all these videos oh my goodness (laughs) perfect timing um, so I'm doing that. Um, I want to start doing, uh, I don't, I don't know how, but I'm, I'm looking at some cause, um, mm. play like yeah. stuff. I've got some bits and pieces I've put down. So I'm going to try and do some, my own astral looks. You could do like, um, I mean, there's tons of things you can do. You could do, I know people do like Astra or like, you know, whether it's like Astra or the different character, they'll do like Astra inspired summer looks or something like where that you could like do something that you think Astro would wear, or yeah. I mean, if you're doing arts, arts and crafts and stuff, you could take on a project of making a little Astro costume. But I mean, I could, I could try that. I'm thinking through that one, but I have, um, 
some people I'm reaching out to. to yeah, I've got some stuff planned. Yeah, um, you could do it. And anything. then obviously the craft stuff we're trying to do. Um, I think there's going to be another signing. Mm. Um, yeah. So, are yeah, you gonna? All those little... Are you gonna sign? Are you in the next one? I'm hoping to be. Yes, I, 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 I am just checking if I, I can love, with date. I would love <laughs> to get. I just I bought a couple from the last one. Yeah, and I got I got one of them in, and then I'm waiting on the other one. Um, but I'm you can have all of my money. I will. <laughs> I don't care. I will take anything. I would, cause I got frames for them too. I'm I've never done anything like this. I went out and got frames, and I was like, I'm gonna in my new place on my desk. Yeah. And so it's gonna be yeah. I would I would I I hope that you're in the next one. Yeah, so I'm working on that. So I am thinking through Astra. Just again, I think Astra fans are Valorant fans are great, and I really like the ones I encountered. But Astra mains are just the coolest motley crew. You know, <laughs> like you know, so different and yet so similar. Um, there was a young um, Astra main from I think Turkey who reached out. Um, with a lot of questions and I was like, okay, I think I'll just make a little video thing um, so that they can just watch those instead of me just typing endlessly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm definitely trying to make Astra, bring Astra closer, I think. Um, Cause there's a lot, I love, I love the character. She's great. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. I, it says my, the zoom meeting's going to end in 10 minutes. I don't, I don't know if I, if what i feel like we've only been going for like 25 minutes or something yeah i think you might be able to restart it again. yeah we'll we'll, yeah. we'll do that when it gets to like two minutes or something um yeah i i feel like i i just love that the the voice actors of valorant have even the people who weren't into video games or didn't do video game voice acting or haven't been a part of a community like this. I love the fact that you guys really get into something like this and and take on the responsibility of of playing the character. I'm listening one sec, sorry. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. I literally just need to blow my nose and no. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine you're fine um yes continue on listening yeah uh like just being able to to take on something like this and i mean there's a lot of responsibility that comes with you probably get a lot of people saying like not necessarily like hating on you but hating on the character towards you or something like that um but it's really cool mm. that you you want to learn um, and you have been learning about, like, it took me forever to know what a nerf and a buff was. And so. I sort of know what it is, really. <laughs> I just know it's not a good thing to get nerfed. And I know it because when the character came out and I started, I don't even know why I was reading comments, really, because some of them were like, <laughs> oh, you don't know me. And I was like, oh, it's not me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, some of them were already predicting the nerf when, when she came out. So when it happened, I was like, are y'all really surprised though? Because y'all predicted this in January 2020, um, 21 or whatever year it was. So yeah, I, I'm i still learning. I'm guessing a buff means they're, like, they, they're made better, right? Yeah, like the way that it was explained to me a long time ago was like a nerf gun isn't that strong, so you nerf it. And then when you buff something out, you kind of, like, buff the scratch and, like, you know, make it better. Buff Astro! <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people on all the... Well, first off, I, I, I don't want to... Actually, when, when we first talked, or after we first talked, because I remember on, on my birthday, I hit 1 million views on my TikTok channel. So on my birthday last year, I hit 1 million. But since then, and this might blow you out of the water a little bit, with videos with you and without you, my TikTok has 15 million views altogether. So you have been a part 
of probably give or take 10 million or like 8 million or something like that with with stuff that we put out uh together and our conversation I think on YouTube has like over a thousand and then on TikTok obviously like you I think you're a part of like two one million view videos on TikTok and then there's a million on YouTube too or 1.6 on YouTube so like that's it's crazy who are these people yeah. <laughs> I know who are you? yeah who what? I don't I don't understand it either I don't I, I it will never grasp I'll never be able to grasp the concept of that many people watching what our conversation and but people want to know the every voice line you did you know you put your hands over your head people that was one of the top comments do you want to explain a little bit why you did that i will explain it as honestly as possible because you know i'm always honest with y'all yes um the very first interview i had was with carolina ravasta Mm -hmm. who voices um Right, uh, Rays. Yeah, Rays. Yep. Yeah, Rays and then Sombra in another game, I yes. believe. Yes, yes. And I was really shy. Really, really shy. And I know, I know there are people out there now that are like, she's an actress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. But a lot of us are quite shy as people. Yes. And um, I, I was just not ready for what it was and I was I felt ill prepared I hadn't gone back to listen to the voice note lines because that day I I think yeah I was still in Ghana and I'd had serious connection issues with my internet and um the electricity there's this thing they call light off where the electricity fluctuates depending on load shedding so you can be at work as we're just chatting now and everything just goes and that's it for anywhere from an hour to four days. And so I had that happen where I was in my store, I had set everything up and the lights went off and that meant no internet connection, nothing. So I was just really in a not great frame of mind. So I had to drive through traffic to get to a cafe and try and set up. And I was just like, oh my God, this is not gonna work. So I tried to bluff my way through most of that interview and then they asked me to do lines and I was so nervous that I was just like, I have to cover my face also because I was in public and I was like in a coffee shop Mm -hmm. with, you know, bougie people that were like, what's going on? And I was just like, I I can't. So I just did this so that I could like put myself in the booth yeah. Which is, you know, cute and dark. So that's what that was. And then it became a thing. And I was like, okay, we'll just roll with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and in addition to that, um, because I am not Astra, I didn't want people to put my facial expressions and things on Astra, if that makes sense. Um, I voiced the character but I, I am not extra stuff. So like, <laughs> I'm going to let them have that voice without seeing, like, all the weird things I do with my face to make it happen. Mm-hmm. So that's what that was. Yeah. I figured, and I would comment back, I said it was a, uh, at least to a couple of people, I said it was a comfortability thing. Just being comfortable. Yeah. And I said there's, yeah. I don't know, I, I felt like, I don't know, I don't remember any, like, negative comments. People were just curious, so... And yeah, I figured, because I think we talked about it. I knew, I knew the cafe thing. I knew that you had some internet issues and that you were at a cafe with the Carolina stream. Um, but I just didn't know. I wanted to pinpoint it and I wanted to give people yeah. an answer. So I was shy. I was shy. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to, we're going to restart the zoom meeting. Uh, mm-hmm. And then, and then we'll get into some more things. I want to tell you um, some of the the stats that we have, like on which okay. videos um, have a lot of a lot of views. Um, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. I do you remember when we did the um, 
We did. I played Valorant, and when I and I was sharing my screen, and then we were going through like maps and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Oh my was, gosh, I do remember that. Yeah. yeah, there was there was like one of my favorite moments with you was there was this little like tea party that we that we saw on the map, and you were saying how weird it was, and it caught you completely off guard. Um, oh yeah, the weird little. Um, Puppet-looking yeah, yeah. handbag thing. Yeah, that was one of my favorite moments. I, I love that video, and I... <laughs> that was that was one of my favorites. Also, doing um, voice lines for you. I didn't... I've never done them for anyone else. That was my highlight. Was it? Yeah. When you were like... um. Oh, your camera turned off. If, if you didn't What's notice. What's going on? Can you hear me though? Yeah, I can hear you. Your camera is just not on right now. I feel like oh, there it it's is. like a, a weird settings thing. It goes off for a second and then I have to manually. Mm -hmm. It's uh, either that or the. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Uh, the one, the. the I call you Chale because it means you're my friend, but maybe I should call you Kwasia because it means you follow. That yeah. one has 365,000 views. People love, love that They love that line. The, I, I love it. I love it as well. <laughs> um, yeah, there, there's that one. Uh, I mean, a lot of a lot of ones that you're featured in as well have... Um, I mean, for a while there, they were just getting like either like... 60,000 views or whatever but you're part of uh, uh, I have a 1.2 million a 1 million and a 843,000 that you're all a part of so needless to say we did we did pretty well with that and I think people liked it this must be how Beyonce feels. Yeah. I'm <laughs> sure it's it's quite like what we feel right now. Um, yeah, for some reason, this website is not working. I'm trying to... I just want my Astro voice lines. I mean, yeah, YouTube's a good spot for that. Yeah, I just... I don't want... Oh, yeah, here. We'll just open up this YouTube video, and we'll just... We'll just get something here. Um, ha has anyone been... Uh, do they, like... Do you get, like, a comment of, like, a certain line? That people want me to do? Or, like, like do people, like, ever, like, comment on your, like, Instagram or, like, anything about, like, a certain Astra thing? Um, it's definitely the line you mentioned that, that still, people still ask me to say that line. Um, yeah, I think a lot of the, the few valid, uh, Ash remains that follow me that do comment, I just have nice things to say, but it's never really about like lines. <laughs> um, I will tell you a funny story whilst you're looking because you just reminded me of it. Um, when I first joined the cast of Harry Potter, they did like a, a release video with everyone's headshots and it was in alphabetical order. So one day I was sitting in the green room very early on in the process and one of our aerialists, um, who I'm going to give a shout out to, his name is Bailey, um, he cracked me up. And he came up to me and he was asking me all these lovely questions about my life. Just like you and I were having a conversation where I gave way too much information about irrelevant things. And he was like, yep, yep, great. So then like two weeks later, he came up to me and was like, she needs to tell you something. I was like, okay. And he's like, when I, like, I knew who you were before I spoke to you. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, I'm a gamer 
And when the video of the cast was released, our, our headshots are next to each other because of the our surnames. And I was like, okay. And he's like, all his friends started calling him and were like, do you know who you're next to in the video? And he was like, who? Like, what? They're like, you don't know that you're next to Astra? And he was like, what? And they're like, Valorant, that's Astra. That's the voice actor of Astra. And he was like, no way. So he's like, when I was asking you all those questions, I was waiting for you to say that you voiced Astra. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Oh no! Uh. I was like, oh, I thought you were asking about theatre credits and stuff. It was like, it was like I was patiently waiting for you to just drop that you voice one of the biggest characters in the gaming world, and I was like, I should probably learn how to do that. <laughs> well, it is—it's a difficult thing. Like, do you just come out and say something like that, or like, because you don't—you don't know. Well, for me. It would be like a thing, like, do you want to know that information about me? Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I really don't. And I'm not used to, as much as I like sharing, Yeah. I'm not used to being like, well, I've done this. and that. Like, I, I, mm-hmm. I don't know how to do that. And I was yeah. saying that to him. I was like, that's just something I've never. And I guess because my context is gone where the gaming community is um, a little smaller, um, I just... I, it's just not something that I was in practice of saying because yeah. um, I don't know who games. I don't know who plays. So, yeah, it was a big lesson for me and it was very funny. We still talk about it. Um, so, yeah, Bailey and your mates, shout out because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Have you – have has anyone, like, recognized you? Have you got recognized out in public for Valentine? No, not really. I mean, if I have, they've never said that that's what – it is um so yeah no i haven't apart from that one time where yeah they saw my name and were like oh my gosh you're in harry potter with astra um so yeah that's it (laughs) i'm i'm waiting for the day i don't know if if my content i feel like i'd have to get quite a bit bigger i feel like people i like if they didn't ever see my content i don't know if i'm the part that they would remember like it'd have to be super it's true come on like i disagree i think i think you have a cool energy and like yeah but you know i hear you there there's times where i will always joke with my family like if someone's like staring at me i'm like oh my goodness like they they recognize me like this is so awkward but it's never happened but i'm waiting be- <laughs> because uh, like at my my brother uh back in june graduated from medical school and like we had like this big graduation with like a whole bunch of like um i guess people there was different there's like family medicine and then like surgeon like just you know different types of doctors well, that, yes. and yeah. I was like, this is gonna, this is my moment that there's gonna be someone, because I just wanted to steal the spotlight for a second. Like, someone come up to the table with all my family around, and they're like, can I get a picture? And then I, my my idea was that I was just gonna look at them and be like, see, you guys, like, I'm doing something too. <laughs> but it didn't happen, and we just, we just had to celebrate my brother the entire time. <laughs> I'm so <sorry. laughs> But I mean, it's an awkward thing. I have been recognized a few times for other things, and it is a very awkward moment where you're like, and I, I know for me, it's because like she's a black girl too, so I'm always like, and it's like, is there something on my face? Like, is it, what is it? And then mm. like, are you from the, and I'm like, ah, oh. <laughs> thank yeah. you, yeah, That's uh, me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, do you, I mean, I feel like everyone's like this. Like, I'm sure there's people in, in the world who know, who kind of get a grasp of who they are. But, like, maybe maybe this is you. But for me, it's, like, anyone who would be excited to meet me. But I'd be like, it's just me. Like, like I'm just, you know. Yeah. But it's because, like, you know where you came from and, and everything that you've done. But, like... It's wild that there's probably a ton of people that would love to to see you and get a picture with you and or get your autograph because I mean I know I'm dying to but 
I know there's going to be other people too. I'm just letting you know I am, I'm going to get one. So <laughs> I'm, I'm very humbled by that. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, it, yeah, it, I think what, what people are attracted to is an aspect of you and you know everything about yourself. Um, and mm -hmm. so I think sometimes like as people, like we tend to, yeah, we highlight our neg negatives. Yeah. And, a... and, and so when a person celebrates their positives um, or, or brands themselves, for only their positive, sometimes it can be like what disconcerting because we don't we don't learn to do that. I don't think we're taught to do that. Yeah, I think we're taught to highlight our negatives, and I, I feel like that's something that um, as you yeah, when you are in the limelight. I remember years ago reading um, something. I don't really recall what happened, but it was an article in which they'd asked Rihanna a question. Something had happened to her, and they were like, "Do you think that?" like you know you're not a great role model and she was like well i i didn't really ask to be one yeah um you know and i was like oh yeah that's interesting like i just assume that once you become a celebrity to a certain or recognizable um you kind of yeah i put in a box and people recognize you and build a, a persona around you so it's your job to kind of control that and figure out what you want to tap into so yeah, in those moments, I always have to remember to smile, and then I'm like, oh, I wonder what my face looked like before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, was I throwing the eyes at them, or was I like, what? Like, yeah. what are you <laughs> looking at? So like, yeah, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I feel you on that one. But being ready is good. I like that you stay ready. It'll yeah. happen. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be all over my social media the first time i'm gonna be like hey can you send me that picture so i can so i can show other people i'm gonna set it as my profile picture actually <laughs> like just you like yeah. i'm gonna be more excited than they are that's all i'm gonna say i i had a moment where i was picking up a prescription and me and my mom were sitting there in the line and the the pharmacist was just eyeing me and he was like a younger guy. And, and I was like, I walked out of there and I was like, he totally knew who I was. He was just working. He, <laughs> he couldn't say anything. He totally knew me. And my, my mom was like, he did not know you. Like there was just no way that a pharmacist. And I'm like, mom, you just don't understand. Like gamers come in all sizes. They <laughs> You don't know who the next gamer is. You have no idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, oh, that's so true. Yeah, I, I, I do. I am waiting for the moment, though. But I do have a couple that I have ready for the um, Astro okay. Voice lines. Um, this one is Ray's. It's time to get cray cray, my girl. Oh, my gosh. How did I do that? Like, I think I can remember. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I'm going into the booth. Okay. <laughs> Ray, it's time to get cray cray, my gal. Oh. Something like that. Killer. Absolutely <laughs> killer. It does, and I'll say this once again it just does not get old. It doesn't get old for me. I could sit here and feed you voice signs all day. <laughs> How do you, how do you, oh, when you, when you hear back the voice lines, how does it, uh, I'm sure you've heard, you know, some from the past year or something, but how do you feel yeah. about your own voice? As it's a voice? hard. Really? It's so hard. It's like, I mean, as a performer in general, I, I'm very critical of myself as a person, oh, sorry. Yeah. And then as a performer. And so seeing myself um on on screen or in, in a video a playback i'm like oh oh that's not what i thought i looked like um and so i i'm learning to get used to it and hearing astra the first few times i was like oh the worst i was like oh that is this like i'd be cringing um and I remember one day my partner went onto YouTube and started playing that video that has all the the asterisk like the this compilation. One? <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like he was just like playing, you know, like the 
<laughs> yeah, the the like, death sounds. Yeah. I'm like, please stop. So yeah, it's it's hard because I'm like, oh, I should have done that better. Oh, I should have sounded more gunny in there. Oh, really? I'm like, what? So yeah, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, like you're like they used that one really. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's like you're in there with me. <laughs> <laughs> I've done enough of these. I understand what you guys think like with most of this. I mean, obviously oh. there's experiences, but I understand like when I say a voice on you, like, which one did they pick? Like, am I going to say this one correctly? Like, I know everyone says like, I, I'm sorry if this one's not right. Like if I didn't say it yeah. like this, but yeah, I mean, I get it because there's like, 45 different ones that you did just a little bit different inflictions on that you yeah. don't you don't want to say it wrong and someone be like actually that's not even how she said it <laughs> exactly that and there's yeah. always your favorite and your favorite is rarely the one they choose like the one that you think like oh yeah i nailed that and then they go for the other one you're like but i was breathy i was choking did you my voice cracked did you yeah did you guys no not here? hear that one <laughs> uh, so now like when i go into the studio to do astral lines i do kind of like try and make every every set like my best possible consciously so that whatever one they choose i'm like i'm pretty confident in that one <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah um the one of one of the favorite ones from the last time we did was um the you could tell a person's character by their first action check me then eh that one got a lot and that one uh was very very sought after i a lot of people like that one yeah I, it's funny i forget about that line but i i feel like that is the astra that one and time and time and space are not what you think like those are like to me, the hook lines for actual, like, that's how, that's her philosophy. Yeah. That's how she thinks. Yeah. Those and are I, like, I agree. They're great lines. Like good representations of her, you think? Yeah, totally. They yeah. sum her up in a nutshell. Um, the, uh, take a breath now. Release the tension. Good. Let's go. You want to do that one? I'm just going to go on YouTube and listen to that. <laughs> It's like, uh, take a breath, release the tension, like something like that. I can, I can kind of hear it. And we could do a different one too. I'm sorry. I wish. No, I no, 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 no. I, um, I, I like, I like the longer ones, but it's also hard to just tell you like this whole paragraph of things. And then you'd be like, oh yeah, that's, that's exactly. And then think of it, but. Um, we could do, uh, I am with you. We are strong. Okay. I'm just gonna. Okay. I, I, I screenshotted these. Do you want me to send them to you? Yeah. Then I can check this, the timestamps. Cause I do want to make sure that I, I get, there are so many lines that you just don't remember. Mm -hmm. The first two you, you said, I can, I can remember how I said those ones. Um, sorry, fam. Um, well, I could also tell you the number because they kind of go in order, but I, right. I, I'll send you them if you want to check out, um, what number yeah. each one is. Cause I reckon, I reckon I would say them differently, forgetting the context now. Yeah. Um, I just want to play. Oh God. Sorry. No, it's fine. I wish I played the game. I still haven't played. We will play. I know. I know. Yeah. Um, um, if yeah. you want to break the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? No, no. <laughs> um, okay. So the, the one, have you sent them? Yeah. I sent them in Instagram. Oh. Oh, you okay. can, you can pick whatever ones. I just want to, I want to have those little clips, you know, I want to get a couple for, for the TikTok. The little okay. voice lines. And I mean, if you see any other ones in there, go for it. I'm not, I'm not, those aren't set in stone, the ones that, but I just saw those ones, so. 
okay, I think I remember how I did these. And and for one of them, it's funny, looking at them now might have helped a bit. Okay, I've done that one. So let's see if I can remember. If they if if I do it now and it doesn't sound like how you remember, let me know. Okay. Okay. I'll be honest. I appreciate that. I am with you. We are strong. Yes, that was perfect, actually. <laughs> Did you know um, that... Uh, I'll just say this really quickly. You don't have to, like, super respond to it so we can get through some more voice lines. But uh, through the past year, a lot of people have thought that what I do is fake, by the way, and that I just take, like, Carolina's stream or something. And so, like, they don't think I actually talk to you. And I'm like, I'm friends with multiple voice actors, like... I keep in contact with a couple of them. Like, how dare you? How dare you say this about? But also, who has time? You can I know. I know. You. Look, you must have the best editing skills. I know. <laughs> also, because I'm wearing different outfits. Yeah. <laughs> in and you're in different places in all, like, in the both, both of these. And I'm in a different place wearing a different outfit. And, and the weather's different the t at the time of day. My hair is different in all of them. <laughs> yes, true. My so hair is different in all of them. Every podcast I... <laughs> okay, we can get back to voice out. I just wanted you to be aware of that. Yeah, I'm aware. And to all the haters yeah. that are saying this, hate on. Yeah. Because my hair will be blonde the next time. <laughs> and mine will be pink. Great. Established. <laughs> done. I have the wig, so I'll just put it on. <laughs> uh, okay, I will I will dye mine. Dye your hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um all right. I think I know how I said this that I liked it, but I don't know which one they use. Just do it. So let's do try. it the if you were. Okay. Hey people, come on now. I'm anticipating my congratulations. Mm. I love that one. I mean, that's really... Okay. I'm not sure All I've right. ever heard that in game, though. I don't know if I've ever heard that one. So it's not one that's in the rotation quite often. Maybe it's a. No, it's not it. Yeah, maybe. Oh, actually, I'm going to give that to you again in another way. I think I might have also gone, hey, people, come on now. I'm anticipating my congratulations. <laughs> mm, I love that one. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to the next one. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Yep. Wink that grin again before she beats me. Come on, that one. I the waste that rain apart. The beast mode. That's interesting. Which one? What's um, <laughs> No, it's definitely a lie. Um, okay. Take a breath now. Release the tension. Good? Let's go. That one was good. Okay. This is the last one you sent? Okay. We have plenty of time, oh. Here and now. Be here and now. <laughs> That that's my favorite one that you did. I, cause hey. I that, that one I do hear a lot. I do hear that. Was that close to how I, how, oh, yeah. how she says it? Yeah. <gasps> there might be a little bit like of a like a different length on words, you know, just inflictions, but uh I don't think that you're gonna, you know, get it exactly right. Yeah. So um, I'm going to go back and listen to these for the next time we chat, just in case you're surprised me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I feel like I don't want it to be a year the next time we chat. I would love to to catch up. I mean, we don't have to do another podcast, but I would love to, I would love to talk um, soon. And I, I hope that things are going well, and I hope things continue to, to go well for you. Um, we're probably gonna end the podcast here, but actually, I do want to say this one thing. What do you What do you think about the this hoodie? You like it? It's nice. It's yeah. gray, right? 
Or is it like a it's steel a, blue? It's like a blue. Yeah, I do like it. The color's great. What's that? What's the symbol? It's my logo. It's a pink. Yeah. 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 And it's, oh, when's mine? I yeah. 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 I'd happily get one of those. Oh, would you? Oh yeah. And this is this is a little promo for me because uh, it's gonna I'm a I'm a little sponsor of the podcast here. Um, these hoodies are I'm gonna release. We have a color like this, and then we have a color. Is your sweater like a pink? Pink, yes. Yes, we have a pink color as well. Um, I just don't have it here with me. It's at my other house right now. Um, but all I, I, it's gonna be. I'm gonna be completely transparent. It's five dollars profit, so it's like uh, twenty nine dollars U.S. Uh, uh, money, U- U.S. dollars. Um, but if you buy the blue one, it will go to diabetes research, which is a cause for me. And then the pink one will go to epilepsy research for my nephew. And so, you know, $5 profit. I'm not going to make anything on it, but I don't care. I just want people to, you know, good cause and good hoodie. Um, so that's that's my little promo there. I, I was I was happy to wear this for the first time in, in a podcast, so... Oh, you should get, I, I'm definitely going to get one. It's funny you said that because pink is my latest, like, bad to wear. So I think, but I really like the, maybe I'll get two. I think I'll get two. Okay. <laughs> I would, I would love for, them? um, I, I have a, um, like a link that I could get you. I'm working on the website, um, right now, but I could, I could early publish it for, for anyone I don't need it to look good. I just need people to be able to securely and safely um, purchase something and then be able to ship out um, for that. But I, I just wanted, I wanted, I've always wanted to have something and I don't want to rely on it for money at all. I just want to be able to, to just put out something that people are going to enjoy. And I really like the quality. It's like a good hoodie and I love wearing it and uh, it goes to a good cause. Um, for for everything, so uh, I would love for you to to have one. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I need one. I like it. I'm always <laughs> cold too, so it's perfect. As you can see, I'm always in a warm. I like, it. <laughs> so yeah, perfect. I yes. love the causes as well. It's so important. It's yes. So important. <laughs> yeah, and I, I I appreciate you so much for talking. I we always I don't ever have a guest. Like I love all the other guests. Don't get me wrong. I love them so much, but. I laugh more with you than I do with anyone else. Um, we always have a great time, and I hope we can do something soon. I would love to get more people. I think I should do a couple of voice actors at the same time, get people together, and um, just... Get me and Miranda, two Aussie girls. We'll have yes. you tolerate. I, I, will, <laughs> I will text her right after this, That the fact that you said that. <laughs> We'll get something going. Um, yeah, so I appreciate you a lot. Uh, everyone loves you. I love you, and you you are so sweet. And I, I tell everyone who asked me who my favorite podcast or Valorant voice actor guest was, and I always say Astra is the sweetest, and, um, and that's not a lie. That is not a lie. Anyone will tell you that. Hey, man, you got me crying. Thank you. Yeah. That's so kind of you. Um, um, I love your time and your generosity mm. and your great questions and the laughs. I live for the laughs. So I, I live for so. them too. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll we'll catch you guys very soon with uh, more podcasts and more Astra content as we go along. And uh, thank you guys for listening and watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.